Fats lanes and, and get him out of this matchup? No, I, I, in this game, you, you definitely can't because they put they did three cores that just counter the bat and lane. Sure. So for this one, you definitely yeah. can't. But it, it's a hero that's kind of locked in its role. You don't really have anywhere else, in my opinion, that you can actually go a lot of the times as bat rider. We don't see it played as five position. We don't see it being played as off lane or four. It's just it's just not really a thing anymore. Yeah. We did see it, of course. Eknar played at five, but you know that's because they had to relegate it as a five because how hard it was countered. Yeah, we're definitely going to be interested to see what sort of game FN can have on the mid bat here. Is yeah, but for sure, yeah. it's, uh, doesn't look easy. But, uh, no. but they they do have the Ricky. I think that's something. Rick, Ricky and Nyx can change a couple of things, right? Because okay. if the Slark isn't careful and the bat gets a blink dagger at a time, if he's just he get the, they drop a cloud on him and then they go for the lasso place, there's no counterplay. So I feel like they can use their vision advantage to a pretty decent decent merit because this is a vision game of course too as we see slark and disruptor on one side and we see batrider nix and ricky on the other so it's a lot gonna be a lot about these initiations and who gets these good jumps and all that information. and you sort of feel the the same way as t was looking at the darks here and felt that this is uh this is a game where could the darks here could have now. huge huge impact yeah he's got the two two of the best <laughs> combo heroes with him Nyx as well as Shakiro, the vacuum wall impact is going to be huge. You know, versus three of these cores that just give him amazing illusions. Bottom, the spin will go off, but Darks here is one of those tanky beasts. Fine. Immersion splits away with boots. Seeing mid actually going in favor of the bat right now. No, that's true, actually. By quite a bit as well, uh, considering that there's. CS here for, for him to still pick up, so yeah, nearly sort of a weight advantage on the last hits there for FN's bat. Top lane, Mira. Uh, here. He might be pretty dead here. They're gonna have trips to trade up in a second. And is he in range of the slow? Not Dodge quite. Breath. Ooh, nice just just yeah. out of range, yeah. Mira's able to make it away, and oh, that ends up being a fair bit of distraction there, taking the two of them quite, quite a, a while away from the lane to chase him. Yeah, that'll hurt the Ricky a lot there. They will be able to get a pull. It looks like Sineko's gonna be able to pull the lane back, so at least they get that. But yeah, Collapse is gonna get all these free five last hits on tower. And yeah, mid continues to still be FN. It's, it's more evened out now, but FN doing a great job, and he is making sure that he stacks his camp. I think that's something that I see some of these mid bats not do so much when they are straight countered by Slark. Just stack. You'll be able to farm those and be able to at least keep up and farm versus us. We'll see if... Uh... I mean, do you imagine so the, the build that we'll always see from the mid slarks will be this diffusal into Agonims? Is that that pretty much the only way to play it for the mid lane? Yeah, definitely. It feels like the best one. Yeah. yeah. The Agonims, I feel like, is a snowball item, though. You can go diffusal. Okay. Depends. And if okay. things start going bad, then you find an in-between item. If things start really going amazing, of course you go there. Bottom level spin. Set up for the kill again. What? Top lane. Dream gets back over. Still, yeah, that sort of time away from the lane definitely hurting us. He's, he's the one struggling the most to get the farm here so far. Bottom lane afterlife. Get away with the TP. He goes to the tower though. Just stick around. Just still have a second. And go. So. Fine. Four minute runes That's coming into really play. It's down bottom. As will they be able to secure it for FN? It looks like they will. Toronto Tokyo okay, is trying to careful. make his way down, but yeah, he, he can't go for this with Immersion hanging around by the root. FN will be able to refill burnt. the bowl. Yeah, he was getting burnt the whole way. That was a little bit scary if he did continue going on top of FN. Double you know what else I'm realizing too about the draft with the darks here and the combo and everything? They do have Ricky, and what do we know that Ricky gets? Oh, that's Battle Fury. The, the combo potential really is there for Lift to win. Battle Fury Vacuum Ice Path. I mean, nice. on, yeah, that's gonna be so much damage. Down. Yeah. I mean, I think it gets to that point. Sure. And then if it does, you know, if it is getting to that point where Ricky's got like the Ags and the Battle Fury, there's a good chance that the Slark and the Jug are also gonna have a have items. And then it's sort of a question yeah. of, you know, is this wombo combo built around Tokyo? setting up for the Ricky? Work out Radiant the best. Middle tower is under attack. It's gonna be fine, but how's he doing on reach? He's got, he's got pretty much yes. a plenty of one charges, so he'll be able to stay, stick around in that lane <laughs> to, to, to hit the level six. So for Tokyo, will Yatoro. Be fine. Oh, he tries to steal the bounty rune away from the darks here. Afterlife with a full bottle. See that purchased earlier. Nice attempt there from the jug. 
collapse. Down the low this time round, trying to pop the shield. Uh, but uh, he's looking pretty dead. Uh, sticking around a little too long. A lot of tips coming out there as well as uh, collapse definitely making the, the mistake of of hanging around far too long uh, despite having no regen or, or stick or anything to save himself. I think Seneko liquid fired him and he shielded the liquid fire. So then you just dual breath him and he cannot run away. That was a pretty big mistake there coming out from collapse. He also was staying there incredibly low for a long time. See the Bruins checked again, lift the win. They'll have the Knicks set up for bottom. Radiance this time, Tokyo mm. is very for it. Tokyo's got the treads done. And we'll see sort of how his, his, his game matches up against it. To the side, he missed a full creep wave, so there is that, but yeah, he'll be enabled because of, Appreciate because of this Jakiro anyway, who's going to just constantly pull. He'll be able to get levels. He's not supposed to be the one getting kills in the lane either, as is Ricky. It's supposed no, to be on the opposite no. side. The Jug is supposed to be the one getting kills of the Disruptor. It's always just a huge sign that Lift Win's able to do that with more of a Radiance passive approach. Middle tower is under attack. Bottom, again, they always attempt. This time they will catch him. They might have him this time. Oh no, he's beating. Just kidding. Oh. Got the surge. Oh, but they got the glimpse. And he's back in range, but not quite enough damage. Immersion will live. Top lane, Mirrors trying to chase down Seneco. Seneco, yeah, the, a little too speedy. Catch him. Wow, oh, Seneco has a null house. He's feeling really good about his top lane. <laughs> he's a, a cheeky one. If I make the move down bottom, but... Smart gets underneath the tower. All right, that's an interesting move. I didn't see. Did he come down here to kill some stacks or just a pressure play? I, I think, I think he tried, tried to get a kill, yeah, but with the spirit were like, just able to, to back up, clean off. He gets a nice faded brooch too, so that movement speed always going to be really, really good with these bat riders. His bots are almost done. He's quite a bit ahead of this Lark at the moment. And you uh, do, do you like this from Yatora this game? I feel like we've seen more jugs kind of lean towards the, the Maelstrom build up, but uh, he, he's going to be going for the full farm, getting the Ags online. Uh, sorry, the Battle Fury online for this game. As FN, actually, this could be a big catch here. Firefly, though, is off to the side. He's actually going to be able to turn it by the bit. Mirror, is he going to stick out? He is. Oh, no, he's not. Mirror will live, and FN goes down. So, he went back in for the kill. He did. He thought he could have it. I thought he'd have it as well, but he didn't. At the same time, top lane now collapses, able to really use his power here to charge down Seneco. I think a few kills. I think is, yeah, I think Yatoro's recognizing that it's going to end up being that that farm game. So I think I'm okay with this battle theory just being picked up. Yeah, I'm not. It can set you up to get killed though by Nyx. That's the only the only okay. scary thing. But. Ah! Yeah, we'll see. I mean, because this is the thing. If, if this game does sort of fall into passive farming, you've got this Ricky farming, then over on the side of Spirit, you've got this Slark and Jug scaling. I mean, what what, what do you think is going to be easier to play with in the in the late game? Having your two cores as these scaling carries as Slark and Jug, or just having this incredible wombo combo that Live to Win have to, to set up for Ricky to clean up everything? Oh god, it's hard to say too because they have Earthshaker, who's like the most broken hero in the oh, game. Oh yeah, do have Shaker as well. Yeah, that's the Dying thing that kind of fits it in. I feel it's like Dark Seer is probably gonna he's he can steal the show, but I feel like sure. Earthshaker can just blow things up better and just change the whole outcome of the yeah. game in a couple of fights. I think it's easier for Spirit. I think, you know, it feels easier. Yeah. Like if their heroes are able to play their game, and I mean, because it, it, it is a passive game, but uh, nine and a half minutes in, it's only two for one. If, as long as none of their three cores get left incredibly behind, you, you've got to imagine that Live to Win's... They, they have to pull off those combos. You know, as T said, we've got to see these vacuums catching the three cores, getting illusions of, of at least two of them on the wall. Otherwise, the team fights can be done in a, a much safer way by Spirit. But they're bound to land the combos. Like, it's gonna happen. With Jakiro, it's it's very easy. That's why we used to pick it on Dignitas, because we were yeah. bad. It's really <laughs> simple to land that combo. Nyx is a little bit harder. It used to be the target, of course, where you could target heroes with it and it would follow the vacuum. That was really busted, but it hasn't been like that for a long time. The, the threat is there. It's always gonna be there for them.
And there is quite a bit of melee heroes that we are seeing on that Team Spirit side. It's just a disruptor ranged hero. So they are very vulnerable to getting caught by all these spells. Sure. But then again, they have the Shaker. <laughs> it's always like, but they you have look the at this game and it's always like, well, they got a Shaker. And if the Shaker can, uh, is able to get his spells off with the Shard post 20 minutes, bottom tower it's, under uh, tower. they've got a Shaker. You know? And it, it might not matter that they get a five-man vacuum, or a four-man vacuum wall if he just fissures fish and yeah. charges and just kills it. And it just it. breaks the combo. The passive play, two to one at 10 minutes, 40 yeah, seconds. This is the slowest game I feel we've had. I mean, as, as, as I say, I think, yeah, well, both Radiant's teams got a battle fury hero, right? So both carry. They're, they're going to be kind of okay with this. Yatoro's cool with this. Dream's fine with this. And that they've both definitely got roots to, to oh. victory. Uh, with, with, with the way that they've drafted in the later stages. So there's oh, no, and collapse no, 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 no. Actually, attack. Collapse Dyer's is actually building aura items. So that's an even bigger benefit for the Darks here. That's probably why they... I mean, that's what the panel was saying, and that's why they picked it, probably, versus it, but uh, we thought they had to avoid it. Go for that. It's the Nico. He's gonna get dragged back here by the Potion. Stream is on him, We're gonna get the slam coming out, but he's already down. They lose Samira, as well as Meposhka. And they get to out of it. They can't. Dream's able to jump in with a Blinky Strike, block him off. And a poor lift to win their feisty oh today. These tips. First off Dyer's at the start, on to collapse in that top lane. Trot to he doesn't care. He just has a, he has a cup of tea. He's, he blows it away. He doesn't mind. He's not going to be tilted by this, but yeah, live to win there. They're out. They're, they're, they're murderous today. Do, do, they have, do these teams have beef at all or something? These are some pretty aggressive <laughs> oh, tips coming. I don't see anybody smiling Radiant's on the cameras. Is under attack. Yeah, that looks, this, this that looks some pretty serious beef. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and... This, this is one of the things that I was a little worried about, is the collapse that can happen from that live to win draft. Is, this Darkseer has had a good lane, so he's fully enabled to have his high level Ion Shell, and they have great heroes for it. Nyx, Ricky, Batrider. Sure, Ricky didn't have to really cheer up, show up, but they can, they can do a lot of damage when they do just run into all these heroes. And stuff. It's really just the supports who can do much of anything on the side of Spirit. That was the one big concern I had for them. These three cores just are passive farmers. They, they are, I mean, the, the most they, passive. They, 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 you know, they knew they were signing themselves up for this, right, with this draft. They, they've they've drafted this lineup, and I think, it, you know, for Spirit, it's going to be playing out kind of how they want it. Sure, they've lost a, a few heroes there, here and there, but they, they are getting a farm, and now they've found quite a big catch here. They've found Dream. Pounce off the mark, though. Stream's able to jump to the side. Great glimpse, though, from a point brings it back up. It doesn't matter, though, because he's a rookie. He's got here. two blink strike charges. He's straight back out. And now Lipta wins ready to turn the fight around as they take down Mira. They're looking towards Collapse. Collapse still trying to find this rookie, but he can't do anything about Dream jumping away once more. The bar of time comes to an end as Lipta win the five of them. Chasing down Collapse. He's under the tower, though. The respect that Yatoro's turned up. They know there's an Omni Slash at the ready. They won't dive any further. These, these next few moments for Spirit feel like they're going to be incredibly hard. The mech is already out for the Dark Spirit. Mech, Arcane Boots for Afterlife. Damage issues aplenty for Team Spirit until Tokyo, in particular, gets the defusal. Before they have that, I, they don't they can't make moves. It's going to be too hard for their Earthshaker and Disruptor to get these great catches. They're, they're going to start getting ran at, and Disruptor, as we know, does not like to get ran at, especially from two Invis heroes sneaking around the backs. This is going to be a little hard for Spirit in these next few moments. Yeah, Any it, of these fights kicking off camp, it, it's going to be really hard for them to actually take it. And, uh, and as we've seen, if the Poshka and Mira cannot lock down this Ricky, mm. it, it, he's just all over the place. You know, the Dream's in and he's out, and but once these two heroes have thrown down their initial control, you know, Ricky is free to, to do what he wants in these team fights. Yeah, he has so much extra HP just with the little items, right? The Orb of Corrosion, 150 HP, 6 free stats from the Iron Witchery. Makes him a little bit more durable when he goes for this Battle Fury build. Still less than 1k gold lead and what, about 1k experience lead only for that live to win draft, but you can feel Spirit, their, their movements are just limited. They have to keep hard. But it is a fine time on the Battle Fury for your Tora. It is. See that slightly faster than the patch average. Done. Stacks do to work through. Onto Tokyo, he's looking for some action with the Diffusal, but uh, Immersion scouting him out. Uh, Mira's just gonna go straight over towards Mira. And they're gonna be able to take him down and into the ice bar. They'll finish him off now. Look for the cats. Play Toronto Tokyo jumps in onto Immersion. Afterlife's heading in though. They've got full, the full five of them here. Great play by Tanaka. Knocks them back into the combo ice bar. The ball inch down. There'll be a buyback from Mira. They come up with the Omni 
Tree Slash. Is it going to be enough damage though? No, it's bouncing over towards the Tree Blade. Yatori trying to finish them off, chasing with a Blade Fury, but he can't close the gap on them. As Live to Win, they're all still alive. Collapse trying to get into the middle of this whole fight, but they'll turn, get the Macro Pile laid down. Lyra trying to get into the Echo Slam, they'll be able to pop it and blow up Immersion, but the rest of Live to Win, they're out of there. They forced everybody down here too with this aggressive play. And we see Darks here, King of Team Fights. He's so damn farmed. This mech counteracts all the damage that is coming up. Spirit. Spirit have to back away. And that's gonna be the Ricky Battle Fury almost done. And that was the that was Echo Slam. Oh, we know so Mirror's still around. Oh, but Mirror also knows that he's still around. Ooh, they might actually set up for him. Tokyo is looking for the wraparound, but there's a lot of heroes still here on Live to Win. Version glimpse back to base. Dire Mid tower. Are fortified. Oh, oh, he's got oh, oh, the vacuum is the ice pop. He's trying to get away from your Toro. Pops the mech and after life's away. We'll get oh, the shell out onto his teammates. Now they can look to try and turn. If they've managed to get the stun of your Toro, has got no further escape. As Collapse cannot save him, the tip's coming out on Ziatoro here once again from Lip to win. Oh my goodness, they, they want to make this one hurt. Toronto, Tokyo, he's going to turn. He's found FN there. I've got the pitch blocking him off. FN, in a bit of trouble there, but the surge comes out. FN's away. With the glimpse, back into the clouds. Static storm down as well. But again, FN's got the noodle speed to get out of there. Dream Tokyo. jumping in over towards Toronto, Tokyo. He's in blocks off the pounce there as he blink strikes in front of him. The tips now over towards Toronto, Tokyo. Vacuum back on the Poshka. Immersion's diving in. The Macro is down. Efficient from Mirror will slow them down momentarily, but Immersion's still able to get him with the Impale on to collapse. Immersion now taking tower hits. Will die for his dive. They're just bringing the battle. They, I think they're recognizing exactly what they're up against. Three farmer heroes, and they have in, insane combo, insane team fight. Afterlife, enough. nice little cheeky illusion rune play gets him out of the leash, gets him his off his mech, gets him his surge, he resets the fight, and a huge win for them. Now 3k advantage, Ricky Battle Fury online, plus the next start of his or of his act. Great arm as well, I think Imp Claw's always pretty much the nicest yeah. one at this stage for a Ricky. It's, it's just so much damage for for nothing, you know, it, it, it's a, always, a, always a carry favorite, I feel. Plus 24 damage and three little quick. Yeah, and I'm, I'm seeing the effect of the smoke screen. The, it, I, kind of what I felt like I would versus a Slark too. It's he just puts it down in the back lines of the fight turn, right, right yeah. back in the middle of everything. And they just can't actually finish off a kill on something like FN who gets glimpsed out of position. I mean, and and, and to the point, so, right, do, do you think Toronto Tokyo is going to get away with going for this Ags after defuse, or do you think this is one of those games where you've got to sort of think, do I need the BKB sooner? I'm I'm not too crazy about it. I'll be totally honest, but. They also have no playmaking, so maybe he just needs that to do the cash heroes. Okay. Now well, they get the glitch back on the last life. Trap to the connect, yep. they're gonna drop the static storm down onto him as well, but it's not enough damage. He's able to walk out to the side and now immersion. He gets the perfect uh -oh. impale set up over the two of them. He's caught to our Tokyo, he's trying to escape, but they've got him. The slot's down, mirror to fall as well, and this was the first reveal of mirror getting that blink dagger. It, it, it ends with his death, collapse, also to fall here. As they're just winning each and every single engagement, lift to win. They're, they're doing it smart. They're just bringing the battle to them. They're bringing four or five heroes every time. They have four or five fighters. The side of Team Spirit does not, you know, jog a bad and Slark. Slark actually wants to fight. Same thing with the bad. But these heroes are so passive. They can't actually do anything without the backup of the supports. Yeah. Supports are getting collapsed on. You know, this next Ricky, the, the surge, everything, all this momentum is really starting to build forward for Live to win. And now. Batrider already has a BKB, he and he was yeah. versus this hard matchup and these triple cores that were picked to counter him. Yeah, he's he's got his BKB afterlife. He's also got the green stuff in his Merson, they come back up. They're trying to guard him. The clouds down. Drag back in the clouds. They just got him. Controlled perfectly. Held in this silence. He cannot escape this, and now the turnover was collapsed. Then Merrick comes in with a good echo. It's enough to start breakdown emerging. On his side comes in as well. They'll cut down Dream. Finally, Team Spirit able to find a way to fight back. They'll look to Seneco. They'll get him as well. FN still having a bit of a poke at this. There's four heroes up. FN, does he really feel that he can get something done here? He's got to be careful. He's out to the side, Mirror. 
We'll be able to get him with the fisher. They've got the glitch back as well. Evan has to put the BKB. He's got to keep on running it. We'll have another glimpse in 10 seconds, but FN should be able to make it far enough away out of vision. A nice echo slam. Salvage the fight completely for them there. It was looking quite disastrous. They finally slow down this Ricky, who is starting to really snowball out of control to get the kill on him. The big important target. Who got the last hit as well? It was perfect. Okay. Right. got the last hit on that Ricky too. And it's still, it, it, again, it's like, it, it, it's 15 to 8, it's a 4k lead, but Spirit's got the shaker. It still feels like this is still a game that if Mira can get that shard on in good time, which he is going to be Radiant's able to, middle you know, 700 gold under attack. towards it on top of that blade. The shaker's still going to have fortified. a big impact, unless they're able to jump the shaker. Which they are, they are now. Is Mira just blinks in. Wait, what? He's dead. Oh, he right. blinks in there. Okay. He won't, he won't be doing that again. He won't be doing yeah, that immediately again. Immediately regrets his decision. Yeah. So he knows that. Radiance middle As Tokyo tower, will persist, he will attack. continue building toward this aggro. So that, this smoke screen I think is going to be incredibly tough for him to play around. Sure. And you, have they got any sort of force or any way of getting Radiance him out? Middle tower no. Has no. Fallen. They, they, they can't can go is, for that build either. They can give him a shield, which will give him obviously not, nothing against the silence, but a little bit of protection to, and maybe a chance to walk off a stun. But for sure, that this Ricky is going to be a huge nightmare. Uh, and as we've seen, even when he gets his way out, Afterlife's been very smart with the vacuums. They yeah. have ways to catch him and, and just keep it, him in it for so long that it really does feel that it's not going to be until he has the defusal and the BKB done that the, the fights are going to be easy for Toronto Tokyo at all. No, absolutely. I, I feel like Live to Win in, in almost every single one of the fights, they should come out advantageous. It's just really going to be eyes on their shaker to see what Mira can do as he is getting Loser. close to the shard. And that's, you know, as we know, that's where the big spike is for their shaker. But there's, there is a lot of vision aspects. He has to be super careful. He is it, he is really feeling like it's going to be everything for this Team Spirit side as far as control goes. And Ricky's got eggs. So a very powerful dream already at this moment with a very strong Wongo, Wombo Combo team fight. I think they look to just go, look to fight right now. Actually, okay. I, guess I thought that was real. <laughs> it's weird, man. <laughs> he used the vendetta to kill him. On the way out here with the spike, and then blink dagger done. Immersion leads the charge, level 12. This wombo combo team fight. I, it's all, like I said, all eyes on Mira. Eyes on this Earthshaker to have hope for Team Spirit. <laughs> They're actually just gonna start the Roche. Not the best way to really kill it with just the Ricky in there. They, they don't really have oh. the, the best ways of taking that down. No, that's, that's not gonna, gonna happen. Them out. And there's the shard. So okay. he's actually on the way with being able to online. pick it up. So shard and level 12. So he's got level two echo too. Mid lane though. FN with a blink dagger is looking for Toronto Tokyo. He just used his, he used his dark pact. Oh no. Oh no. He's, he's dead. Where's the tips there? Oh, you that. definitely tip that one. He's not going to be using dark pact to, to farm waves like that in the lane. Again. Now with no one showing. Radiant's yeah. Tower is under attack. Fissure. He's going to start slowing them down with these enchant totems. Another one coming. It still seems really hard for them to actually come into Roche. I thought they'd actually smoke and try to find a wraparound fight, but without Lasso, maybe feeling like they can't actually get it. DD spawns bottom. FN will just take it himself. Not gonna hang on to that. As they do have a good time right now to split up, go farm, get Dream his next big Double item. Double damage. And things are looking. Things are still looking really good with them with this really big team fight. This Lark is almost three thousand gold behind the Bat Rider and the Ricky. But they see an opportunity to make their way to the pit with the Vlad. I mean, they, they can do, do it. the same with Healing War too. Uh, they, they do it a lot quicker and easier than uh, Lift to Wins on it. But Lift to Win have, have got that incredible team fight around the pit. Uh, Dr. Tokyo is going to head out. And we'll be able to jump in onto Immersion. The Ice Park down using the Shadow Dance rather early here to, to try and commit. And the walls out. Cloud as well. They've got to be careful. It's collapsed. 
Gonna have to borrow time, forced out of him. FN's just focusing Mira, running the shake is completely away from the fight. So Mira has not got anything to offer, but he's gonna be oh. cut down immediately by that ult from the Toro. As they're with the buyback, they're gonna have the glimpse set up. Skype comes down and Max the Mira's on the echo slab. Jump for the Toro Tokyo, they're in off the dream. Can they finish up this Ricky? Dream's getting low, but he's still level on the tricks for trade. Tokyo. Toronto Tokyo's caught in the cloud. As he cannot pounce down, the strike will fall. I mean, it looked like after killing FN, they were able to make that quick move with the disruptor buyback to, to turn it into something more. Even with the Echo Slam, though, not enough damage to take down Dream whilst they had him stun locked. The, the, the darts here, the darts here factor, the Dream. He's walking off with He's going to get the two hit. He's got the Blade Fury. We've seen Dream is taking the ages. Mira did try and jump in to go for the steal. Wasn't able to make it. Live to win, get the kill, they get the Aegis on Dream. That was really scary for Yotoro for a second there. Very lucky just to get out with his life. Radiance but Tokyo just, con under just continuing to get punished for this greedy build. And he, like I said, he committed for the Aghanim. So he has to wait such a long time to get BKB to protect him versus this super annoying cloud. There's just so many combos he has to watch out for. So sure, Yotaro is having a good time, but you know, this Jug, he can't be alone in these fights. Especially not when Darkseer gets these these vacuum walls where he got a, the three core heroes there, the three ideal ones. They need to have these other cores keeping up in pace. They're already starting to fall pretty far behind. And they're able to, able to force out with this Aegis on green. Now they've got a blink dagger on immersion so now instead of immersion just running in and feeding his life to get the initiation Radiance they're gonna be able to just charge the dark here and they're gonna be able to get that thank you vacuum combo a little bit easier with it too rather than just relying on ice path i think it's a point out too is snake is very farmed which is definitely really important he also has grove bow so all these little things coming in together it's a, it's a level 13 jakiro too with a veil so his follow-up is Radiance quite impactful for is under attack well, on the side of Spirit, it really feels like it's it's mostly Mira. It's still just going to be the Earthshaker shell for these team fights. Mipushka, he's starting to hit his limit of what he can do with these static storms. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Spirit. Radiant structures are fought. Radiant to, are scanning. Be too afraid here. I'll live to Radiant's win. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. They're both trying to race to get tier two so they can both take each other's outposts and make sure they both at least have one for the moment. Oh, all these TPs though. Get a TP though. They're coming back. So it's got to be careful. Immersion. Ooh, tries to get Ooh. the catch on to collapse. Maybe kit. FN. Spotting Tokyo. They didn't even take the outpost bottom though. That is the other thing that we did see live to win. They instantly TP to defend theirs without taking the opposing outpost. Maybe we'll see FN go down there and sneak it. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Force the movement from Spirit to come down there. That'll be really annoying. And yeah, let's do that. We three things. Now Spirit has to make a decision of do they want to go down there and get the outpost? And that means that Spirit, Live to Win's going to make a play elsewhere if they do see somebody set up down there. It can be a little bit complicated for them. Moments. Lift the Wind's just super ready to fight. They are so strong right now. Dream. He's gonna head in. He's been silent. Into the fish and the blade fury. They're gonna be able to lock him down further with the aftershock, but it isn't enough. Again, Dream able to live. Jumps over. He's flying in the middle of it all. He's down to the trick of Dream. will be able to get the scattered on top. He's actually gonna be able to live. Jumping away. But they'll lose Mira after Mira commits into the middle of it to save Toronto Tokyo. The and he will manage to get back to base with the Blade Fury TP. They can't kill Dream the once when he just walks up into all of them. That is a disaster. Yeah, I think... And the vacuum again Radiant's catches the Jug, and then these three core heroes are just beating on the Jug, and Slark, we're seeing Tokyo can't do anything with and the Tokyo, He was so close to going down there as well, Mid. Juggernaut! will be fine. And yeah, I think we're still making all the difference in that last fight it, it was just when afterlife had picked up the full pipe radiance so, oh, well, okay. that came in pretty attack. big there to to save the ricky i think i think maybe without that dream would have been burst through and of course the once he does have that aegis but maybe that would have given time for the spirit to find something Dyer more are scanning. Some, some lovely timing here from afterlife 
keeping his character this, thing. this agony is, is it's honestly doing nothing he finished it not too long ago but I mean, I can see that he wants to catch and all that, but he can't. He can't team fight, and all that Live to Win is doing is just straight up team fighting. So this this item just feels like it's actually just doing nothing. He just Radiant gets smoke and he dies. He just can't attack. hit anybody either during it. I mean, and this it, was what we were mentioning is it's a snowball item when they're behind. Sure. He did not sure. get any snowball because he's two six and four. He ha he had to go for the defensive play. And now they're just Radiant's so far in the back of the game is in a very tough position. What a waste. It's all right. Glimpse back on three. He's pretty tanky and again the backups all around. Bepin jumping and forcing back. Both Maposhka and Yatora to the high ground. Tokyo, the, just don't show up to another fight. Attack. I think this is what he has to get do. That BKB Farm the BKB, done. but otherwise you're actually just useless. So try to at least finish this up. They're gonna hunt for him though, so might have to just reset himself toward the top or toward base. But it's the right approach he needs. He just needs to be kicked. And a blink dagger for Ricky, why not? As he's gonna probably go for that swift blink next. He's already got his entire toolkit at the ready. He is a beast. Nine one and nine on dream. You're more of a more of a fan of the swift blink than the arcane blink on Ricky? Oh sorry, that's right, it is the arcane blink. I, I, I'm I heavily apologize for that one as, as I saw it in the Chinese games and it was insane. It's pretty is wild, it, yeah. It's way better, yeah. You're in, you're committing, and as soon as you're back out, you'll sort of the tricks of the trade, you're ready to go Radiant's again. Middle tower is under Good attack. call about that one, yeah. As they're swinging over, they see Yatoro top. Lift to win. More than ready to battle. Oh, nice shot. Not a bad way to start it. Quick disrupt to kill. As a DD okay. rune as well up top. Oh, boy. The dream's going to be able to find that. Yeah, they've got vision on it. There you go. Oh, that's one of the Oh, that's not twice. Get away that's from a them. good steal right there. Yeah. You don't, want, you don't want Ricky to have that one. No, he'll one-shot your whole team. And they'll be able to finish up the B BKB. So now Tokyo will actually be able to do stuff inside of these fights with his juggernaut. But they've they've lost so much out of the game now because of this slow build-up. Him and Collapse's game just feel really difficult to try to come back in. I, I'm really surprised that Collapse actually went for the Vlads when they're playing into Dark here. He just played right into their hands. We will walk up. Collapse. Versus prepared. I'm gonna have the BKB call that band. He's, he's gonna be able to find the Poshka. He's gonna grab the disruptor back into the trick of the trade. And the Poshka's down before you get anything off the vacuum onto the tomb, and there'll be a buyback from Mira. As onto the side, Toronto Tokyo chasing down Snakeo, be able to get him with the second power. Locking down the Jakira, they bring him down. As Toronto Tokyo also popping the BKB, but uh, look to win at a distance where they can fight this BKB out. As Toronto Tokyo is trying to chase, but Immersion has the blink. And the BKB charge to waste there, unfortunately, for Spirit. The way that Live to Win's taking the fights is just perfect. The so Ricky looks for the Desert Shaker. Fat Rider BKBs and just blinks into the back lines onto the... And yeah, they're just recognizing exactly that Team Spirit has no way to take battles without support. It's them running around with their... Like chickens with their heads cut off. It's immediately grouped up, getting their next set of items. Lasso still on cooldown for 60, but they don't need it as the Ricky can kill almost every... Can here we go and with that orb of destruction as well. Alan to rush. Be a little longer. I'm turning half minutes on this. What a waste. Ben, gonna be able to grab. Be held back here by the Fisher. Spirit, they're actually gonna turn and start running at them. That keeps down. Toronto took your hand to put the shadow dance immediately. As Collapse, he's going to be focused. I don't know if Yatora and Toronto Tokyo can do anything about this. Fisher will come out, but Collapse looking really helpless in Yatora. He's going to jump in with the, with the Ultimus, but it's not to the illusions. That's the only shot down. Now Yatora, he's got to run. Another Fisher from Mira will keep him safe, giving him the, the coverage to get out of there. Dreaming, swing him around to the side. Oh, the Poshka. He's just gone in a few hits there. And Mira steps into the tricks of the trade. Dream is over him as well. With the cloud, it's a triple kill for Dream. 
So no way to get in and do that final bit of damage to kill him off. And Snako in the trees keep being out and he will manage to escape. So a couple of buybacks coming out from Spirit in order to keep that fight going their way. <laughs> now, but Live to Win able to get everybody else out of there. Spirit at least able to find that big kill finally. They do manage to kill Dream. Oh, but it, it is only just the one. If Yotaro, if he hadn't gone so over overzealous with the initial Omni, in the into yeah, the dark that wall yeah. earlier, Basically, yeah. then they could have actually had a pretty good fight. Maybe then you could say the Liftwin wouldn't have gone Double so aggressive damage. if they knew Omni was up, but yeah, just getting a little too over eager there with the first Omni and hurting them a bit. And they need they need everything that they can get in this game. 18,000 behind. They get the kill on the Ricky, but it seemed almost a little bit of a lucky one as they connected both of the pounces on him. Perfectly. See it again here. The Omni Slash, unfortunate, bounces back to the illusion rather than staying on FN. Yeah, I mean that to be fair to him. It was a little unlucky there. He, he jumps on the bat and it just happened to be at that 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 reach to, to bounce back and and, and not be Dyer, able to return to FN As FN's just has, has enough movement speed to easily break away from the illusion But that's you always have to expect that as a jug on sure. you know you, the worst you, you case can't scenario for the RNG <laughs> to help you for sure No, never. Okay, it's always gonna go against you unless you're playing against it and it looks like Dream is actually going to give some respect instead of just going for some super ambitious and super crazy arcane blink or whichever blink. He's going to give a. He's just going to go for a BKB. He's going to go for the safe play, okay. just so he can get out of these pounces, get out of these chain stuns. Tokyo, man, him using these dark packs on these waves. Oh, no, really so getting whoa. me. Uh, Careful. <laughs> getting me real worried for him. Set up around the Roche pit, both teams getting their own respective wards down. Some good vision coming up for Spirit, live to win. Might be able to claim the high ground though. They are getting a good wrap around to Nico. Oh, the ward down. down. They bet. want Mikoshka. Mikoshka did get the glimpse up in time. So was able to separate FM back. He's able to turn the static storm onto Dream, but Dream's able to make it out of that. They do have to Dream this. Is it enough damage? Dream's trying to get back to his teammates. He's going to be able to do it. That large range of the Blink Strike allowing him to jump back to the safety of Afterlife as Dream will get away to keep himself alive. That was so close to them actually killing him. But then he just resets, and now Omni Slash is wasted. Static Storm is wasted. All of Team Spirit's abilities are pretty much down now. I mean, Lasso that, is used, that minus all and making all the difference there for Rifted. Yeah. He didn't have that. He's he didn't have the draw. BKB yet. Yeah, no. It was all about the neutral line there. Dream trying to jump forward. And they're going to start things on to collapse here. The hard time was pushed out very early, so he's going to have nothing else to save himself. That's collapsed out for 95. FN. Radiance if he can catch another, but the rest of Spirit, they're out of that. Radiance He's going to give the space oh. to win to take the first for themselves. Especially when they have the dark, when they have these two illusions. The illusions are kind of doing it on their own there, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and that Avatar so, illusion is certainly up and out. It's a pretty good one. Roshan has fallen to the finally now. It ruins the Abaddon's game for... It ruins, it ruins this game entirely. Just even even without Blads, I'm just watching this illusion just, just sticking on the on and silencing him. him and just keep silencing him inside the fights. It's quite annoying. Oh. FN, maybe they can get him down here. He's got cheese. Oh, and he gets it off. It off. Oh, they were so close. They were so close, but they couldn't quite get him in time. Toronto Tokyo trying to commit it for Seneko, but he's got to get out. Shadow Dance, the BKB coming to an end. FN and Dream trying to leave, he's there able to get an immersion in with a break, they've caught Toronto Tokyo as the Slark will fall. He has got buyback. 
Certainly will need to use here down for over a minute. It's 22k lead. I could dare say that look left to win already to try and close this one up. Radiant Smith is They got Mira with the carapace. Just gonna, just gonna jump in. in. Double flame Ooh. break. Ooh. Oh, he went swiftly. He did. Actually, Dream did opt for the swift link. I'm of course still having what that plus 50 damage before you jump in with the tricks with traders is ridiculous. And that movement speed, you're never running away from this Ricky. Uh, but of course, yeah, no, not, not getting the cool interaction that we see people like to play with with the arcane link and just have pass point the Radiant's cooldowns go right down. Are under attack. More yeah, he just goes for the more greedy play because he has Aegis rather than go for BKB. He knows he's that's true. Yeah, you're right. This. I think as well yeah. because he has the Minotaur one. Because that, yeah, that also that's really enough. Helps. That's enough to get yeah. him out of Static Storm, get him out of a combo. Radiant I love to win has played this game very out. methodically. Only giving up these 12 kills. Just, this Dark State really is for me stealing the show. 2 0 and 30. He's 32 out of 34 kill involvement. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Uh, that's definitely one of the highest, highest involvement percentage wise in any game where there's this much action. As soon as he's in, he has to get back out to Toronto Tokyo. To like nearly able to catch him over here. the back here. Stream. Look at the stun on the draw to Tokyo. He's just in and dead on the front line. He has just dropped by back too. Too much damage. But uh, yeah, maybe he's just too big. One slip up attack. and uh, and and you just disappear to, to Dream's Dyer's damage output. Top is under attack. Radiant's bottom barracks has fallen. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. Got an abyssal on on your Torah at least, so somewhat extra way of locking down this Radiant's Ricky. bottom barracks has fallen. Radiant's top They gotta do something here. Attack. The last Rex. And they still don't have they don't have disruptor for 34 seconds. Slark might have to buy back to defend this. Their lanes have pushed out a slight moment for the back door as all oh. Toro. Here we go. I mean that's a pretty good slash there. Takes out FN. FN's gonna buy back. They get the wall drop down with the blade fury. Your Toro's able to run down and take out emerging as well. Photos heroes committing for the buybacks, but they're ready to return to the team and keep this pressure on to Team Spirit. Collapse. Well, time to pick up. FN is going to be able to jump in at the end of it. The Slash will come in into the Fissure. They're underneath the tower. The Archer Shock's going to Holding the Dream and FN in place. They'll put the Echo down to lock them down. Shock is going to be able to beat He's on to FN. It's a dive from FN. He's dead for two minutes now. That's quite the window here that the, the FN has given Spirit. I mean, we'll see how much they can do as, of course, they're still rather far behind. But that was a lot of money for Yatoro, and now a very dead Batrider that puts Lip to Win's plans on hold for a couple of minutes. FN just a little too over aggressive. This noob newly picked up Abyssal with the Bash 2 with the Swift Slash. Just gets caught out by it. Has to be careful. This is where this is where Earthshaker also thrives, where Mir is able to sit behind tier fours, throw his fissures really down, is, yeah. throw his And with the throw time this relic dude. Distance. Yeah. It doesn't get much better than that for a Shaker. He's able to do a crazy amount of control. And yeah, Yotoro, he's getting to the point where his damage is going to be scary. They, the rest of them, though, are still so vulnerable. That's so scary. He's like, Ricky's going to kill everyone else. It's going to be Yotoro versus the world. And even though he's getting bigger, that also does mean that the Darkseer illusion of him is also getting bigger. Always a lot of different merits for this afterlife Darkseer. They, all they need to do really is get that last Rax. And sure, Team Spirit can hold on versus Megas, but it's going to just allow this Ricky, Nyx, everything to just always... Ricky, Nyx, and back to just always get into the base and catch heroes. And one shot, quite a lot of them is still are very squishy. Majority. You see, Lift the Wind, extremely defensive posture, just in case of anything. It just gets reclaimed. Bat Rider still dead for 20. Not wanting to risk their win by any chance here oh and oh i actually just noticed he has the sleeping dart i mean it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good it's the, the 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 cast range of it i mean you sort of get in i mean uh, the, the thing is you this time to even use that i was gonna say this stage of the game you're kind of just <laughs> killing people quicker than you need to sleep anyone uh but funny. uh i might slip someone up uh, we see Yatora, he's spent up fully. Uh, he's gone full in he's on the sky. He's going to jump in over the wall. Mark like gets the wall down. If they're able to lock down Yatora, Yatora does have an Omni Stash good to go, but the other illusion is on him. 
to give him a shield. So Omni Trek is going to try and come in onto him. Also, with this DKB, he's jumped in. Okay. FN's trying to go for the Omni Slash. He's ready. FN, he just dies after trying to go for the FN. The Glyph is there. Also, Omni doesn't get the spells a second. You throw it with the double kill. Snake is trying to TP out. Oh, and he'll make it away. Hidden away in the rush pit. A gift from the Snake will escape. But, but, I mean, FN's got to be careful jumping in like this. He, he's just inviting himself to be Omni Slashed every single time. And he's just not being aware of where the Juggernaut's position or where his team is positioning and he's really wanting to go for this disruptor but I mean is Mikoshka really doing that much? Is he really bothering him that much that he's just uh, literally throwing his life away? Slow, you know. he's... That's really... Uh, he just had respawned. He literally just... It, respawn TP died. And now they have to wait for 60 seconds for him again and uh -oh. look at this gold lead. It was 20 something thousand. It's down to 14. Experience almost 30k. Get him down to 10k. <laughs> And Yatora is so massive. He, we saw as well just before that fight, he sells up the phase boots, grab the Scardi. I mean, because he has this ninja gear, right? He's got a, enough movement speed yeah. to get around and with the slashes. Who cares about you know, necessarily being faster than the opponents? As long as you're able to live. I mean, he's just so tanky. 4200 uh, HP, 43 armor. And he's a very hard hero to kill. And whoa! Whose was it? Toronto Tokyo. He was doing a little oh, bit of inventory no. management there, switching items around, popping clarities, and certainly pops the BKB. It's not that it matters too much. I believe it was already at the five second called out, uh, five second duration. So, the end of the world. Yeah, this this jug. I mean, if you throw, to keep the game going, and you throw can get like the the, the Ag's blessing, and then the the upgraded blink, level thirty. I mean, he he by far is he's got to be able to rival this Ricky in terms of just how scary of a hero he is in these fights. But can he do it alone when he's playing versus the wall as well? I actually want to see Afterlife okay. right now buy the shard and normal punch the jug. Punch so we the get jug. A, this illusion of the jug. I'm not even kidding, yeah? actually. Cause it hey, I mean, he's like got the blink. He can get in and get him every time. Because this jug is so massive that he actually will kill his, all, his whole team as well, too. Whoa, slow. Tokyo? Careful here. They do have a nice aggressive ward placed down, so it's trying to play around that. Roche, in about 30 seconds, it, can, it will be spawning. And Lift Radiant Wind being a little bit more, a little bit more calm here now. Last two moments for FN. make the jumps what did I mean, he get what did he uh, uh get he, rid of well he upgraded the ag so he's again he's running short oh he ate the, okay yeah, spe yeah, yeah spending yeah. all his money right now i have to such money. ward placed over here though from live to win and the tier fours are starting to get hit by some creeps radiance middle tower oh. is under attack Push. collapse Ah, he's in! He's gonna grab the blade here onto Immersion, but Immersion is gonna be forced to the side. That's quite an early wall, though. He glints the illusion to kill it, too. Radiant's so, yeah, the, middle the tower is under attack. Oh. Afterlife's actually just going for refresh here. That's probably the better play. Like the normal punch. Lift to win there. They're going to quit for Roshan. They, they saw Yutoro TP back to base to deal with some of the creeps. Mira. Mira can slow them down, though. With the oh, he's trying to get in. But he jumps straight into an ice path. He does get the Shadow Dance off in time before the impales there. But Toronto Tokyo is heading into the peaks. Looking for a target. Won't be able to find it. Ends up pouncing straight back out. Roshan is low. See, on the side, collapse, he's poking it, but he's there, and he gets the full stack on the Dream Dream! He gets the trick for Dream on the top, he's gonna jump to the spot, he's back, he's gone, he's gone down! And brought down Dream Mirror, onto the back lines with the Echo Slam, and they commence with the BKB Lasso, but they can't get a kill off the back of it! Now jump onto the high ground, Yutura is chasing down FN! Dream will come in, but he gets the fish from Mirror, onto the four of them, as he's standing his ground, Yutura is caught in the smoke screen, he's falling low, he needs help, and he needs to now, he's able to get the Blade Fury off! As Yutura is off to the side, Tricks with the trade hurting him a little bit, but a missed coil heal and a glimmer cape will give you Toro enough to get out of there. Oh my god, he's actually able to isolate the Ricky there, and now Dream not having BKB him oh. for the swift flank might be hurting him. He went back in. He got darted. He's got no BKB, no shadow dogs. He's just dead.
Dude, the dart actually set the ice path up. <laughs> there we go. There's all the fruits of Rochelle for, for Live to win. All the treasures have been dropped. Who took what there? Who took the axe? Immersion, I believe. Who did? He's okay. got the burrow now, so they can target right. the, the siege properly. And he can just spam the mana burns. They also have a lot of time. Slark is dead for 100. It's <laughs> true. But at the same time, you know, I wouldn't say Slark's the biggest threat. Death that is bounty. that is fair. And now we see Afterlife with a full refresher, too. So double walls and oh, OK, I dream. Oh, buys a rapier. I mean, it's it, it, it's the game winner. If he gets it, how's your Toro doing on buyback states? He's not 1,400 gold off it. He needs to get it quite at, at least sort of two kills in the fight Radiance before he dies. Otherwise, attack. he's just going to be out of the game for good. This rapier from Dream is, it, it really could just slice him down to get a few stuns out into your Toro. And they can do these stuns from really far now. Immersion with this Aghanims. He's got the far duration impales. He's got the good mana burns too. Fights her. Radiance so so has got by Okay. Radiance got uh, out. And then he's out, FN. He tries to grab the posture. They get the vacuum wall down onto the three of them. They're looking towards the posture. Can they get at least the disruptor? They can't. He's out with the glimmer cape and the ghost scepter. And posture will be fine as he steps back. The rags taking damage though. Immersion set up top with that burrow underground. Fun. Fisher from Mira trying to line things up for them. There's the jump. Oh, and he's dead. Immediately taken out there by the raw damage of Dreams Ricky with that rapier. They'll get the clutch back for Dream. Won't get caught out by it. Dream's gonna be fine. They got what they came for and live to win as they claim the mega creeps against Team Spirit. And after Lift gets an illusion of the jug, he's gonna start slowing down the tower. Or he hitting on the tower. He's gonna get taken out quickly. But yeah, mega creeps are taken. Can they do it against the Megas here, Team Spirit? That's, uh, it's gonna be tough. Down 23k gold. Megas up against them. It's just your Toro is the problem. The Slark and the Abaddon are just so poor in comparison. To... Oh, they can't push out the lanes nearly as confidently. They just actually can't. Toronto has to spam the Dark Pack, which always makes him vulnerable of dying when he does push out these lanes. It's only really your Toro who can deal with Megas. So he's gonna buy the Rapier. Oh my it goodness. It feels really necessary. I mean, just, yeah, both carries, the, 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 whether it be the oh. of the trade or the swift slashes, the, the damage well, is like, going to be done. Look what Dream found, though. You know, just raise the ante a bit, a DD on top uh, too. There we go. Got an Abyssal on Toronto, Tokyo as well now. Both carries having that hard lockdown. Got to do it against Dream's Aegis. There's just so much team fight too. This uh, refresher on the dark team too. They have their own balls. They're gonna drag on to, to collapse with the, the last touch. One of Tokyo's having the BKB and Shadow Dance come out. They're gonna jump in as Nutor is trying to commit with the race here to kill off the Merchant. They won't quite get him. Merchant's gonna leave Nutor to Tokyo trying to turn. Is he up there fighting on these guys? He is. The Burst is coming out. They're over towards Dream, but Dream's able to jump to the side. They've got the Abyssal down on the Dream. They're able to lock it down. Then they can't quite finish him. He's able to get the tricks with the trade off. In time, they couldn't even kill him before. As Dream takes them apart one by one, oh three dead, four dead, ultra kill for him. As they're all dead on Team Spirit, live to win. We'll be able to close this game out. So game one, a lot of action. They certainly made it a little bit more exciting by that death from FN uh, off the back of his buyback on the earlier push mid. Uh, but uh, definitely a fun game there between the two.